I think of May as rhubarb month. We love the tangy flavor of rhubarb. But I wanted to share with you the many methods of preserving so you can enjoy rhubarb all year long. Rhubarb is so easy to grow. The only pest you have to worry about are the rhubarb beetle, which is actually kind of pretty here, or cabbage worms. Now, I've never had the latter at all on my rhubarb after the many, many years I've grown it in my garden, but I have got the occasional rhubarb beetle, but they really don't damage a plant that much. And you don't have to worry much about animals eating it because the leaves have oxalis and it is toxic to many animals and to humans. So we don't eat the leaves, just the stalk. Just as long as you plant it in well composted soil and make sure it's watered in dry times, you will be blessed with a plant that gives you year after year a bountiful harvest. And even better, you can divide up that plant and have new rhubarb plants that will grow. And of course, then you could divide them. So I call rhubarb one of the infinity plants in my vegetable garden. Yes, rhubarb is a vegetable, but most of us think of it as a fruit. But it is great in savory dishes just as well as sweet dessert. So now I'm going to share with you how I preserve my garden's rhubarb bounty all year long. Every year I home can rhubarb juice, jams, and even salsa. I love using my steam juicer to draw out that tasty and boy sour rhubarb juice. And then I water bath can it and I only add the sugar after I open a jar. That way I can use it in many different ways and in many different recipes, be it making a sauce or even a jelly. So I love that fresh tangy taste of rhubarb juice, but I do have to add sugar, I admit. Otherwise I mean, mm, I mean, it is sour. But I also enjoy making wonderful strawberry rhubarb or rhubarb lemonade slushies. They are so refreshing on a hot summer day. And you could also add some alcohol for an interesting cocktail, but be sure to add some of that sugar. Now, my mom always referred to rhubarb as that pie plant. And there's a reason for it because rhubarb makes a great rhubarb pie but my husband's favorite is strawberry rhubarb pie. So what I do is dice it up and freeze it so I can make either pie all year long. I also make a wonderful rhubarb crisp in my Instant Pot. And of course you can always can the rhubarb or the strawberry rhubarb pie filling so you can just pour it out of a jar and have an Instant Pie or it's great as a topping for ice cream. And my grandchildren love the unique taste of strawberry rhubarb popsicles that I make from scratch. It's so easy and they are so, so refreshing on a hot, blistery summer day. And of course, I water bath can a variety of different jams using rhubarb. Strawberry rhubarb caramelized onion jam, great as an accompaniment to pork, rhubarb carrot jam, and a no-fail pineapple rhubarb jam that is so great smothered on your breakfast toast. And I bake and freeze many loaves of rhubarb bread. That's what we call it. It is rhubarb bread. It is a sweet cake-like bread that is so, so moist. And even after a year being in my freezer, I take it out, let it thaw, and then I might glaze it with a wonderful vanilla glaze or a glaze with just a touch of strawberry or rhubarb or strawberry rhubarb jam in the glaze to give a little color and a little extra pizzazz. 
It is so great. It is always a hit at a family potluck. And even people who don't like rhubarb love this rhubarb bread. Now, I even use my dehydrator. I make candied rhubarb in my dehydrator. It's a little chewy, it's a little sweet, it's a little sour. It is completely addicting. I'm warning you now. So, this month I'm going to post two additional videos. One on making a rhubarb sauce and chicken dish that is so, so good. And I'm going to try canning rhubarb salsa for the first time. So make sure you subscribe and hit that notification button so you'll know when these videos pop up in your homepage. So enjoy your rhubarb harvest. Your options are endless with this amazing, easy to grow garden plant that I call an infinity plant. So be sure to check out this rhubarb playlist. I have all the amazing canning and preserving and dehydrating and freezing recipes for rhubarb. I am sure you'll find one that will become your family's favorite. So happy gardening and enjoy.